Hey, and what is going on, everybody? Zero here, back with some more Diablo action. Today, we're finally going to talk about the Acid Cloud version of Helltooth. And I know it's taken a while for me to get to it, and I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is what it is. So, Acid Cloud version. Is it better or worse than the uh, Zombie Bears? That's a whole nother video. Okay, we'll try and put the, that out the same day as this one, okay, guys? Uh, but let's get right into it. The skills are really, really similar to the skills of the Zombie Bears version of the build. Okay, for our generator, we're going to be using Corpse Spiders, Blazing Spiders. Um, you could use something else here, but I think Blazing Spiders is the one to go with. Uh, wall of Death, Firewall. As we know, uh, Firewall, you throw it down with your Jerem Bracers. Uh, the damage stacks, so you want to have as many of these bad boys down as possible, whenever possible. And it's just going to do ludicrous amounts of damage, guys, okay? Do even more damage if we could use area damage, mind you. Blizzard. Acid Cloud, Slow Burn. Now, this is a cold rune, guys, and we are using fire damage on our gear. And you're going to be saying, like, why? Why are you using uh, Slow Burn instead of, say, uh, Corpse Bomb? Now, Corpse Bomb is good. There's no denying that Corpse Bomb is a, is a decent rune. But it just doesn't match up to the damage of Slow Burn. So, you look at the damages here and creates a pool of frost that deals 720% weapon damage as cold over 6 seconds. And then Corpse Bomb, raise a corpse from the ground that explodes for 700% weapon damage as fire to enemies in the area. So the damage difference there doesn't look like it's that much. And you think, well, I'm going to get more damage because of the fire that I have on my gear. Uh, but no, the thing is, is that slow burn stacks. Okay, so slow burn stacks on each other and and you're already stacking firewall. So once you get firewall down and you start blasting out these acid cloud slow burns and that damage starts stacking, the damage is just ridiculous. Okay? Um, so we're going to be using slow burn. And also because the weapon we're using, we're going to also have uh, lob lob bomb. Okay? Uh, soul harvest, languish. This is just a phenomenal t all round tool. It's going to increase your toughness. Uh, it's going to give you an intelligence stack, which makes you stronger overall. It's just, and it's going to slow enemies down. It's just phen phenomenal. It's a must have, okay? Piranhas, Piranados, obviously for grouping up. Spirit Walk Jaunt for getting away and speeding up your runs. Uh, passives, we're using Spirit Vessel. Need to have it when you're doing those high end griffs, guys. Okay, Gruesome Feast. Now, you don't have to use Gruesome Feast. Okay, you could use bad medicine. This is a very good choice as well. It's going to give you a lot of damage reduction. Okay, but I'm using... When we get to the cube, you'll understand why I'm using Gruesome Feast. So the, the five stacks of Gruesome Feast add so much freaking damage, it's not even funny. Gruesome Feast is just phenomenal. Okay, it's phenomenal. And I think it's the better choice over bad medicine. And I think once you really get into the high-end stuff, you start to realize how important Gruesome Feast really is. Uh, Swampland Attunement... This is going to give us a huge, huge toughness increase, guys. you got to use it. Gruesome Feast, lowering our cooldown. It's going to give us mana return and life return as well. Uh, let's get into the gear real quick. First off, we have another passive on the Hellfire Amulet. We have Confidence Ritual. Confidence Ritual is amazing. Okay, Confidence Ritual, guys. 25% uh, additional damage to enemies within 20 yards. So it's a huge deal. Okay, huge, huge deal. You must have it. It's so good. You have to have it either in your passives or on your hellfire, okay? Go for an intelligence, crit hit chance, crit hit damage roll on that, guys. Okay? And we're rolling Bane of the Trapped in there, guys. Get that as high a level as you possibly can. You're constantly going to have enemies under control impairing effects, and it procs itself anyway. And you want that extra damage. I have mine at 68 right now. It's giving me 35.4% more damage. It's huge. We are using the Hellfire set, obviously, guys. Shoulders, Intelligence, Vitality, Cooldown Reduction, Wall of Death Damage. Wall of Death Damage. Okay. Um, chest Piece, Intelligence, Vitality, Wall of Death. Uh, either try and go for Life After Kill, or even better is probably Increase Golden Health Pickup Radius, guys, because that is going to affect a number of your passives, all right? 
Uh, gloves, intelligence, vitality, crit damage, crit chance, same thing. Go for that uh, pickup radius. Pants, invite armor, life after killer pickup radius. Uh, boots, invite armor, uh, zombie charger damage is what I have on these ones, but that's just because I don't have an ancient pair for the acid cloud. You want acid cloud damage, not zombie charger damage, okay, guys? That's very important. And again, on the secondary, go for the pickup radius, okay, guys? Uh, belt, we're running the belt of transcendence. Ideally, you want invite armor life percent, uh, but mine is not ideal, okay? Uh, Jerem bracers on your bracers, guys, must have. This is going to allow you to throw down way more uh, wall of fire. And it's also going to increase the wall of death damage exponentially, okay? It can increase it up to 100%. Big deal. Fire skills, intelligence, vitality, crit chance. Pretty standard for bracers, really. Okay, uh, and our rings, obviously, we're rocking focus and restraint. No brainer, right? We want those uh, huge, giant damage buffs out of the two the two piece set. You gotta have it, all right. So intelligence, crit chance, crit damage, um, life after kill or pickup radius. Um, and I am running esoteric alteration. I've seen some people running the gizzard in here, and I disagree with that choice. I think esoteric alteration. Uh, in the high-end Gris is way, way more valuable, guys. Gain, at rank 70, gain 45% non-physical damage reduction. 45%! Huge. While below Half-Life, your resistance to cold, fire, lightning, poison, and arcane are increased by 75%. That is gigantic. Okay, huge damage mitigation out of this bad boy. Esoteric alteration. Amazing gem. Uh, focus, again, intelligence, crit chance, crit damage... Uh, and in here we have a Bane of the Stricken. Each attack you make against an enemy increases the damage it takes from your attacks by 1.47. I've seen people running some other things in here and I don't really get it, but this is what I'm running, okay guys? And gain 25% increased damage against bosses and Rift Guardians. Very, very valuable, okay? And lastly, thing that makes it all work, Suwong Diviner, okay? Uh, obviously you might not get one as nice as this. I got really lucky on this one. I think this was about the 10th or 11th one I found, and it just rolled fantastic. So, uh, damage percent you want on there as high as possible. Intelligence, vitality, and acid cloud damage as high as you can possibly get it. And some life after kill ain't going to hurt you on the secondary, okay? And you're going to throw a emerald in the socket. Okay, and this is what's going to give you the secondary rune on your acid cloud. So there's going to be lots of stuff going on. Okay, you're going to actually be doing lots of different types of damage. You're going to be doing poison, you're going to be doing fire, you're going to be doing cold, right? And uh, speaking of the different types of damage, this is part of the reason, and not just really part of the reason. You're going to run it anyway, even if you weren't using it. You're going to be running Convention of Elements in the cube, uh, gain 200% increased damage to a single element for four seconds, and it rotates around, okay, guys? So that's huge. So your poison is going to get huge buffs, your fire is going to get huge buff, your cold is going to get huge buff. It's fantastic. Next up, we've got the Grin Reaper. Chance when attacking to summon a horrific mimic that casts some of your equipped skills. So, as we all know, this voodoo mask is just fantastic. Uh, they're going to pop out. They're going to drop more pronados for you. They're going to drop more walls of death for you. They're going to use soul harvest. And they're going to use acid cloud. Okay, so you're going to have acid clouds going berserk all over the place. You're going to have firewalls going berserk all over the place. And you're going to have pronados grouping everything up for you. It's fantastic, okay? And lastly, uh, selenium. And this is kind of a new thing that's starting to take place over the last week or two. Uh, people are dropping the furnace uh, for the selenium. Crit hits have a 4% chance to spawn a health globe. And the reason we're doing this is for a... a not only, I wouldn't say more consistent, when there's a lot of trash around, it's a more consistent damage upgrade over the furnace, okay? Because you can get those five stacks, five stacks of gruesome feast. Now when I hit five stacks, you can see right now my sheet damage is 1.8 mil. When I hit five stacks, plus I have um, my soul harvest stacks, I'm hitting nearly three mil on the sheet, guys. That's huge damage, huge, okay? It's a little less consistent when you hit the Guardian. Um, of course, if you hit a Guardian that summons trash, 
uh, to its side, you, you end up getting a lot of health globes during the Guardian as well, and you can keep up that consistent damage. Um, so the Selenium, paired with Gruesome Feast, actually gives you way more damage output than the Furnace can. Uh, and especially since all of us are fishing for those that, that perfect grift anyway, before we even commit to doing a full grift. You know, we're looking for those grifts with high, high density on a good map. So we're going to have, excuse me guys, we're going to have these health globes popping up all over the place and you're going to be able to keep those five stacks pretty consistently and it just gives you a huge, huge damage upgrade overall guys. So that is what I'm recommending. Uh, if you're doing 55 plus, I would recommend going Selenium, Gruesome Feast. If you're doing lower than that, maybe keep running the Furnace, and you can probably still you can still run Gruesome Feast uh, over um, Bad Medicine. But really, it's kind of a preference thing, and it has a lot to do with your gear as well. If you don't have a lot of toughness on your gear, you're you're really gonna want Bad Medicine. Uh, but if you're sitting where, in a position where I am, where you have over 30 million toughness. Uh, you can get away with with not running bad medicine. Okay, there's going to be a lot of sticky situations sometimes where you have to get the hell out of dodge. But at the same time, with the, again, with those five stacks, you can destroy trash so freaking fast it's not even funny. And that's what you're looking for anyway in the grips. You're not so much looking for the elites, which, by the way, Blizzard is a mistake. Um, you're looking for the trash. So it's, it's a very, very good option, guys, okay? Um... Again, guys, I'm not going to go over the Paragon points. Everybody is a different Paragon level. Um, actually, we'll, we'll take a quick look at them anyway, I guess. Obviously, you want to up, you want to max out your movement speed first, guys, and then you want to go all intelligence. Don't be fussed with vitality on your on your Paragon points. Don't put any vite in ever. Okay. Offense, uh, you're going to go uh, crit chance and crit damage first. Uh, you can go attack speed or cooldown reduction next. It's entirely up to you. If you have a little bit of cooldown reduction on your gear, you can definitely go attack speed to increase your overall sheet DPS. Um, on the defense, uh, resist all, armor, life, life regen. And then on utility, and this is very important, guys, especially if you're playing multiplayer, okay? You're going to go life on hit. You're going to go resource cost reduction. You're going to go gold find. You're going to ignore the area damage. Okay, I still see people running multiplayer with area damage on their Helltooth Bears and Acid Cloud builds, and it's infuriating. You are, you are, unfortunately, you are handicapping your group if you're running area damage right now because of whatever freaking bug Blizzard has decided not to, to hotfix at the current moment, okay? Do not run area damage. It will lag the hell out of your game, even in single, even if you're playing single. You'll end up having to pause it, when there's a lot of tr stuff on screen getting hit, you're going to have to pause in order for the game to catch up because of whatever bug is going on. Ignore the area damage. As much as you want that extra damage out of it, ignore it. Okay, and I'm out also, guys, I'm going to show you guys what I have on my Enchantress. Um, I know we don't normally cover that kind of thing, but I think it's uh, at a point now where maybe we should take a look at it, okay? Uh, so obviously you want the smoking uh, thurible, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, equip on your follower. Your follower cannot die. Okay, that's what you want. You don't want your follower dying. Okay, uh, you're gonna want to be using the Sultan of the Bo of the Blinding Sand. Um, the roll on it isn't entirely that important. What you're looking for is a high roll on the secondary uh, chance to blind on hit. Closer to 40, the better. Okay. Enemies are blind, they're not going to be able to hit you. Okay, you want that. You want that big time. Okay, huge damage mitigation out of this. Like, enemies aren't going to be able to hit you as often with this. It's very important. Get it. Uh, you're going to want an S of Johan on her. Uh, that's going to pull enemies in periodically. And it actually has a huge radius. So it pulls in a lot of stuff really tight, really good for you, okay? Uh, you're going to be using the Oculus Ring. Now, this doesn't proc very often when it's on your follower, but when there's a ton of trash on screen, it does happen. And sometimes it happens often, more often than you would think. Chance to create an area of focus power on killing a monster. Damage in is increased by uh, 35 to 40% while standing in this area. That's a huge damage increase if you can get it to proc, guys. So if you have a ton of trash around and you're trying to take out one or two blue packs, and that thing pops, get in it right away. It doesn't last long, 
get in it right away and just dump everything you have whether you're running bears or acid cloud get in it and dump everything and lastly i'm using a hellfire ring yeah a uh, chance on hit to engulf the ground in lava dealing 200 percent weapon damage per second for six seconds so it's not a lot of damage it's not a lot but all that little bit of damage adds up guys okay so it's just a little bit more damage that you can get out of your enchantress and a little bit can sometimes go a really long way and this actually procs really often okay skill wise you're going to be using charm charms an enemy to fight for you for eight seconds okay that can happen multiple times powered armor buffs you in the enchantress increasing your armor three percent and slowing melee attackers by 60 percent for one second big time get it uh you could go with Ma uh missile ward but i wouldn't I wouldn't do it. It could give you some mitigation against uh, ranged attacks, but I think this is way more important. Uh, erosion conjures a pool of energy that deals 330% weapon damage as arcane over 5 seconds. Effective, e effective enemies will also take 3% increased damage. So the first part of that, you don't give a crap about, realistically. You do give a crap about effective enemies will also take 3% increased damage. More damage. Uh, and lastly, uh, focus mine. A 40-yard aura that increases attack speed for you and the Enchantress by 3%. More damage. So get that going, guys. And uh, you should have a good time with it. So I'm not sure uh, what Griff level I'm going to be showing you uh, with this video, guys. Uh, I haven't even recorded it yet. I'm about to record it now. I can't even remember what the top I've done with this build is. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having fun with the the Acid Cloud version of the build. It is a blast. I use it a lot, uh, mostly for rifts, mind you. Um, so please, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Later.